first of all, I'd like to thank you all for giving us the time to speak. I know you all have been thinking about this and have been educating yourselves, and we appreciate you taking the time. And congratulations to uh, Supervisor Correa, who's not here. He's uh, watching his son being sworn into the State Assembly. Congratulations to his son. You know, I, I just want to say quickly uh, that um, I, I think the county has a great opportunity here to um, look at, at um, providing an ordinance that would regulate the collections and allow patients to access their medications safely and, and be able to regulate the, the marijuana so it's not diverted and be able to make sure that everybody's operating according to some standard rules. Because really, if you look at the alternative, which is to ban the collectives, the patients are not going to stop accessing their medication. They're going to go to the Mexican drug cartels and get it on the street. That's the bottom line. And all the people that are working and drawing paychecks, and they're going to be thrown on the unemployment rolls and out of a job, basically. And the people that they support and the rents that they pay and the car payments and the insurance. It just seems to me, if you look at the big picture, the best way to do this is to take control of the situation. Times are changing. Schwarzenegger just, Governor Schwarzenegger just changed the law in January. Less than an ounce of possession of marijuana is not even a May take anymore. It's not even a misdemeanor. So the best you can do is find them hundred dollars. So it would appear to me that if we could regulate the growing of, the production of, the transportation to the dispensaries, have the sheriff's department be able to come in and oversee it or someone to oversee it, make sure that everybody's paying their taxes, make sure that we have control to put the product, make sure everything's done right. It's a it's a win-win situation. And provide a 1.8% tax to cover those costs. And maybe even help the sheriff with her funding so that she can keep some of these people in jail a little bit longer who probably really should stay in jail. Um, so, you know, just, I know everybody's excited and emotional. Just take the time to, to, to look at it in a broad view. Now, to speak um, towards uh, some of the complaints for the dispensaries on Shaw Avenue. I have an affidavit here from the property owner where CHRC is located, so um, I'll drop that off for you guys to look at. <coughs> and it basically says that um, CHRC has been a good tenant and a good neighbor, and I've invited, I'm sure I've contacted all of your offices and even Sheriff Mims's office to come down and, and visit CHRC at any time talk to our neighbors, see how we operate, see if there's any complaints. I've even contacted the president of the Fig Garden Association and invited her to come down and the other people of the association to take a look. Because if you listen to their complaints, it sounds like preconceived you know, ideas on medical marijuana or marijuana in general, but they haven't come down to actually see the facility. In fact, the president's response was, well, we don't need to do that. But really, the, the generalization, I, I, I don't think is true. If you come down and take a look at how it's operating, I, I think they would be pleasantly surprised. And, and I'll re-invite all of you to come down. Please take take a look and see how a dispensary should be run and, and see how things should be controlled. And and, uh, and I think you would all be pleasantly surprised. So thank you very much.